Hi, this is Gary Nelson with Alden American. Today we're gonna to show you how we install our coilover shocks and we've partnered up with Western Chassis for their drop spindle. So let's get started lowering this Chevrolet pickup truck. We're now gonna install our Alden coilover kit on the front. We're gonna use the press in order to press the lower ball joint out of the spindle. We're gonna remove the original nuts that held the shocks in place. We are gonna apply copper-based anti-seize on our threads. On our one-piece retainer with our Allen set screw, what we wanna do is tighten it down so you can get just a little bit of drag. And then after you set your ride height, what you will do is give it one quarter turn and that's all you need to do to, to lock the retainer. Now that we've set the drag on our one-piece retainer, we're now gonna grease our thrust bearings. Now we're gonna drop our thrust bearings on. We're now gonna install the spring onto the shock and install it. We're now gonna install our Western chassis drop spindle. Before tightening the upper ball joint, we need to put our wheel bearing in. Now we're gonna to torque down the wheel bearing assembly. Now that we've completed the job, it's time to put the truck on the ground, torque the wheels, and take it in for an alignment. Yeah. 